We start the show today in Forest Lodge, an inner Sydney suburb where we check out one of Australia's most awarded houses by designer and builder Chris Neerham. Chris, this looks absolutely very special. I mean, this is your project, isn't it? Yeah, it is. This house here I designed and built myself. I absolutely love what you've done here. I mean, you, have you got enough greenery going on? Uh, we've got actually one square metre more of green than we have internal living space. Are you kidding me? Uh, <laughs> well, I'm really itching to get inside. Can we have a look? Yeah, no worries. This is called the Eco House. Yep. Tell us why. I hadn't called it myself the Eco House. So somebody came up and said, oh, that's the Eco House. And everyone started saying, no, it's the Eco House. So then it just sort of stuck. Yeah. So to me, it's just something to try and do something sustainable. This is what houses will be in the future. People are going to have to start thinking about it because when they start seeing their electricity bills and people realise, you know, cost of living is getting more and more expensive, you've got to start going for the options that are going to save you money in the long run. When you're conceiving this design, I guess, I mean, where, where do you get your inspiration from? I'd worked in Europe for four and a half years and a lot of my time was spent in Germany. Okay. And when I was in Germany, I realised how advanced they were in building techniques yep. and also design principles. Because I'd learnt quite a few of their techniques. Yep. I want to come back to Australia, I'm going to start to use these techniques somewhere. And it just so happened that it ended up being on my house. What I love about this home, I mean, there's so much I love about this home, but what I do love about the home is the garden on the roof. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. And it's sustainable. It is. So, I mean, those plants themselves, I haven't had to do anything. So that, that will create its own little ecosystem. There's micro, little microclimates and everything going on. So you've got your ants and your bees, and it's pretty cool to see. And it keeps the place really cool. It does. So it's a very good insulator. Yeah. So a green roof itself is not only an insulator for temperature, but it's also a noise insulator. Plus, it's also good for stormwater management. So we're actually not dumping all our roof water directly onto the road. So that's going first into the roof, yep. being absorbed. Once the soil is saturated and can't absorb any more, yep. it then goes into our 3,500 litre underground storage tank. So much of what you've done here that makes the design work is restraint. You've pulled everything back. You know, we don't want to try and go too overboard, and I don't want any particular feature to stand out and go, wow, that's a cool feature. I just want everything to be subtle, and when you walk through, you start going, oh, I hadn't noticed that. Everything in this home has got art at the centre of it. Even the tiles, even in the, in the backyard behind well, us. Yeah, well the tiles themselves are pixels to emulate pixels of photography sets to oh. do with my wife. And the black and the white, so when you look at the tiles you'll see that the floor tiles are black. Yep. And then by the time they get to the ceiling they're predominantly white, so we've changed the pixelation rate that there's more white towards the top. Now the only thing about a house like this with so much glass and glossiness is I probably couldn't do it because of the cleaning. That's why a lot of clients don't want glass. But when we, we tell them about the price we've used in the past, and there's a particular product that we use which is applied to the glass generally before you install the glass. Glass is a fantastic uh, product to use in design. It lets a lot of light in and we all know that great design is all about light. But with glass comes a challenge of maintenance you'll find that there's a lot of fingerprints on the glass surfaces from railings to windows to splashbacks in your kitchen. What we recommend is using a, a product such as EnduroShield to protect the glass and repel the fingerprints from staining the surfaces. Uh, the EnduroShield makes those surfaces easy to clean and it keeps the glass cleaner for longer in between cleans. How the technology works is that if you look at glass under a microscope, it has lots of little hills and valleys. And what EnduroShield does is it completely lines those hills and valleys with a two molecule thick invisible coating and that coating repels the dirt and grime that comes from your fingerprints or from the elements. The products are ideally applied to any glass surface in the home such as windows, pool fencing, uh, railings, showers are an obvious one, it's the harshest environment in the house, that's what you want to keep clean and make it uh, as beautiful and new as possible. One application on new glass will last 10 years, if you can do it yourself it will last up to three years and once you've applied it the best way to keep it clean is just using a damp microfiber cloth and even a little bit of mild detergent. You don't need to use any harsh chemicals, so it's fantastic for the environment. I mean, design, Chris, I mean, that's a real passion of yours. I yeah, can tell. it is, it is. I, I like design, I mean, when it's for myself, you know, I don't have anyone to answer to, so I know exactly what's gonna work. When I work for clients, to me, I, I feel the most important thing is, is that you design 
for the client. Okay, Love for, for their character and the way, and the way they, they exactly. Think. So you'll you'll look at how they are, and it may not be my style, mm. but I'll make sure that it's their style, something that they love. Yeah. And for me, every element that you have in the house has to have a purpose. Well, Chris, this is a real credit to you. Absolutely love what you've done here. I mean, it's it's a great design, a great build. I'm guessing it's about the million bucks marks for yes. construction costs. Is around that right? the million bucks mark, yeah. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much for showing me around. Had a great no time, problem. Chris.